Righto, jumping into the kitchen, we're making a beautiful breakfast smoothie with a lovely Claire Allen. She's Good the morning. foodie in love. That's who she is because she loves food so much. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice to have you, Claire. Um, I like this. A breakfast smoothie. It's got mixed berries in there. It's got coconut there. And, and it's the got fibre as well. Yes, lots of fibre. So this is a great on-the-go smoothie as always. You can yes. do it at home on the weekends, but it's nice and quick. So I'm using my okay. mixer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my avo first. Righto. So avo is a great source there of... It doesn't have like oils in there, healthy oils. Healthy fats. Omegas, so it's healthy a good fats. fat. It's a good yes, fat. So you don't have to go. feel bad if, if, you're, if you're the avocado type of yes. fat. So I've got some raspberries and some blueberries. Righto. Nice. A lot of antioxidant rich. There we go. Yes. And I've actually got some celery. Now that's an interesting one for me. It's going to... That might, for me, make or break the smoothie. Oh, I don't really? know. Okay, well, you can do the taste we'll taste tester. afterwards. And then I've got some cranberries and a little bit of honey. Okay. A little bit of sweetness. Love it. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my all, all right. brown. This is going to give me go. some nice fibre. I like the fact that you're adding these cereals in there as well. It's a nice little alternative to your smoothie ingredients. Absolutely, and then I'm going to add the instant porridge. Now these are full of fibre, they're going to yes. keep you fuller for longer. It's really, really good for you. I'm going to give a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to top it up with some ice. And then you can use the dairy of your choice. You can use soy milk, almond milk, or just normal milk. Okay. So we're going to make sure we don't fit. Perfect. If you want to get your hands on the recipe to our mixed berry and coconut smoothie this morning, very easy. SM is the keyword Kellogg's to 33728 and we'll send you everything you need to know. So make sure it's tight. Right, so I'll just mix it up. Here we go. All right, let's. Uh, do let's uh, don't don't. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, All right, nice colour because of the berries. There we go. So there basically, go. you can control the thickness that you. Yeah. Sure, okay. let, let me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early morning. Look how beautiful that is. So you can you can add a little bit more yeah. liquid. This is nice and thick. Oh, if you're on the go, how beautiful is that colour? That is amazing. Go that is amazing. Spoon just to there we get go. the last bit out. Okay, you can see, you can definitely tell that it's going to keep you nice and full and solid, you know, for a while to come after you're having it, which is amazing, which we want. Yes. Something nice maybe to enjoy on your way to work as we well, go. which could be great. So, SMS the keyword Kellogg's to 33728, and we'll send you everything you need to know to make this beautiful mixed berry and coconut smoothie. I'm going to just have a so taste. Tell me what you think of Because the celery, that celery you know. <laughs> I'm going to top it up with some more all brown. Oh, wow. Um, it's so good. I'm going to go for another one. Good. That's really, really good. Mm. And then there you have it. And look at that. Beautiful and delicious and going to keep you full for longer. What a breakfast. Mm. Flair, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. And once again, that keyword is Kellogg's. SMS that to 33728. Alternatively, check it out on our website a little bit later on today. But Kellogg's SMS that right now to 33728. Breakfast is served. Kellogg's. Start your great.